This is a piece of micarta sent to me by Harold Martin. It is an inch thick, very dense, very heavy. It's gonna be some interesting stuff to turn. Never turned anything quite like this before. You might see a line right there. That is three quarters from the end, and we're gonna go ahead and cut that piece off and prepare it to accept a pin tube. I was working to center this blank, and you can kind of see right here, uh, as, as I drew my hatch marks from the edge of the blank, uh, it's gonna be difficult to center simply because it's one inch wide by three quarters of an inch wide. So what I decided to do is, I measured from this end three quarters of an inch over, and I drew myself a little line down the blank. We're gonna take it to the bandsaw, we're gonna cut this sliver off, then using the clean end, I'll be able to find the center of this blank and drill a nice hole for my tube. I freehand at this blank on the bandsaw, so it's, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be close enough to where we can find a line down the center and the imperfections will all turn off on the lathe. So we're not gonna worry about that. Find our center real quick. I have my micarta blank in the vise, center's marked. I've got a 27 64 inch drill bit chucked up. I do not know what to expect while drilling this, so we're just gonna take our time. We're gonna go really slow and see what happens. It went a little bit off. That could be due to the fact that uh, I did not cut a perfectly square blank, but I don't think that's gonna cause any issue. There's still plenty of uh, material there. We should be able to turn a really nice blank. I'm set up and ready to glue the tube into my blank. We're gonna start by scuffing our tube on some sandpaper. This is some 60 grit, uh, 120 or pretty much any grit of sandpaper. I would say, you know, 120 or, or lower would work. I'm gonna put some nice scratches on there. That's gonna give the epoxy something to grab onto. Now we've got some Play-Doh here and we're gonna plug both ends of our tube. This just keeps the epoxy out of the tube. I used to only plug one end, but what I found is after I plugged the end of the tube, I would always grab it and insert it from the wrong end and I would end up with epoxy inside of my tube. So now I just go ahead, Play-Doh super cheap and I just put it in both ends of the tube. Let me get a little bit of epoxy on our tape and we'll be ready to glue the tube into the blank. I've got equal parts resin and hardener. We're just gonna mix them together. This doesn't look like much, but it doesn't take much. And epoxy, you'll, you'll learn, is very expensive. So you don't wanna waste it if you don't have to. Now I'm just gonna begin spreading the epoxy on my tube. We can insert the tube into our blank. We'll kind of twist it and move it up and down or back and forth as we put it in the blank. What that's gonna do is evenly spread that epoxy. We'll pick up the excess epoxy off of the outside of the blank and we'll spread that onto our the rest of our tube. Now we'll just send that on down into the blank a little bit more. Make sure everything is covered. I'm going to press this in with the insertion tool and I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna remove any epoxy that is on that squeeze out on the outside around the tube because we don't want that going inside of the tube. You can see how much is left. I mean, the epoxy, it, it, go, it goes a long way. Now we'll take our insertion tool and we'll just make sure, that's perfect. We'll make sure that we have the blank or the tube equal distances from the end of the blank. We'll set this aside to dry. And in 24 hours, this blank will be ready for the lathe. Cleanup is nice and easy. We just grab our tape and it's ready for the trash can.
This micarta blank was a bit of a trick to turn. Uh, what I mean by that is the material is extremely hard and I just really didn't know what to expect. Uh, all in all, it didn't turn bad. It just took a long time because uh, I really had to just work at it. And my tool had to be restropped twice during the process. I finally got it turned down to the bushings and then I've sanded it to 600. Um, not knowing much about micarta, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do a CA finish on it and see how it looks. Let's get it cleaned up with a little denatured alcohol and we'll put our first coat of CA on the blank. I'm just gonna let it spin and dry for a couple of minutes, let all that uh, denatured alcohol evaporate. Then we'll put our first coat of CA. First coat of thin going on. That looks pretty darn good. Um, I just realized I still have my turning bushings on there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let that CA dry. It's probably gonna take a little longer than it would on a, on a material like wood that's more porous where it can soak in because this is such a hard material, it's probably all sitting on the surface. So I'm gonna let it spin for a few minutes to ensure that it completely dries. Then we'll get it uh, swapped off onto some nonstick bushings. I've swapped out the bushings, but I've also determined that this blank is really not gonna need thin CA. There's nothing, nothing for it to soak into. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move right along with a couple of coats of medium, uh, and then we'll hit it with a micro mesh. <laughs> I've got five coats of medium CA on my blank. I think it looks pretty good. It's ready to be micro meshed. I just wanted to show it to you real quick before I went ahead and did that. I just finished micro meshing this blank. I think it looks pretty darn good. It's ready for a little wax and a buff. Well, I don't know if you saw that or not, but I slipped off the wheel over here and I hit the knurl nut and I really kind of scarred it up a little bit there. Um, I don't know that I can buff that out. Let me try. I think I'm probably gonna have to put a little more CA on it to be able to get rid of that. Because I think I might've went a little deeper than the finish. Looks like it. It's helping. You can still see the scar there. That neural nut chewed it up pretty good, but it looks great other than that. I think I'll just place the clip right over top of it. And uh, you know, this is just one for me, so I'll know about it, but uh, those people who look at it at work when I lay it on my desk, they'll never know that little scar is there. I'm ready to assemble this micarta blank into a kit, and I'm gonna be using a Sirocco pin kit. This came from Turner's Warehouse. This happens to be a, a gunmetal and chrome. I will put a link to the Sirocco kits in the video description if you're interested, and you can go right over to uh, Turner's Warehouse and pick them up. They come in all different uh, combinations. Here's the little place where we nicked the blank. So what I wanna do is I'm going to assemble the clip first right onto or right over that little damage piece. I'm gonna use a uh, turning bushing to protect my blank. Let me grab that from the back side so you can see a little better. And before I press it in, things did move a little bit, so let me make sure I'm still covering the nick. Looks like I am. I did this the other day where I had a blank that I needed to cover the uh, nick with a clip, and I let it move before I pressed it together and ended up having that nick showing right beside the clip. All right, let's take a look at that when we get the bushing out of there. I'll bring it up so you can see it. 
couple of fingerprints on it. They'll go away. I'll wipe them off with a uh, microfiber cloth. That looks amazing. Let's go ahead and press the nib into the front of the uh, kit. Actually, yes, the nib goes in next. Just had to think about that for a second. Get this lined up. All right, I need to tighten my pin vise up a little bit. Make sure she stays aligned. Beautiful. There we go. All right, we'll lay that down. I've got my spring. You'll notice the spring has, it's very tightly wound at this end, very loosely wound at this end. The tightly wound end goes toward the nib. I'm gonna slide my ink refill in, put it into the pin. The transmission for this one goes right into the end of the kit, threads into the cap, make it nice and tight. Our cap snaps on. And there we go. Look at that. Nice action on that pin. I like how, how easily the uh, refill uh, goes in and out of the blank or the kit. Please ignore the fingerprints, but uh, I think this actually turned out really, really nice. I'm super happy with how this looks. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had an amazing time turning this my car to blank. And if you look at it, look down there toward the bottom by the nib, it kind of has a little bit of a grain effect. So the brown makes it almost look like it's some type of weird wood. Uh, it was difficult to turn. It was a challenge. I had to strop a couple of times on the tool to keep it sharp because this stuff is just so dense and so hard. But I think all in all, it turned a really nice blank and uh, the Sirocco kit set it off. I'm really happy with this pin. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and everybody have a great day.